Hello Cabotrans, the time is here. The Winter Tiger, the limited edition, set 2586. Two minifigures. This is a set only available direct from Kobe. And it's the new style of Tiger Tank they have released this year. The box art is looking fantastic because not awesome. Printing on the tides and the tops is indicating information about the set. And then on the back of the box, we have more detail in, in the set. So this is a two in one. You have two choices on the turret and you also have two choices with a snorkel or no snorkel. Again, this is the winter camouflage. There are two other tigers coming out. Now in the box, you get three bags. There's no more of a tank. So one, two, three bags. You get the instructions, you can get them. And also as a limited edition, you do get a certificate. It also came with a bag of random tubes in, which I don't know what they're for because I didn't use them in the build random and you get your printed plaques inside the certificate which is really cool now i love getting the certificate the certificate looks great i'm set 1498 so they must have made quite a few of these at least 1498 of them eh? now let's have a look at the set and also we'll get straight into the minifigs first now with this set you get two minifigures there have been some complaints that limited editions of old used to come with four or five minifigures but I think with the redesign of the Tiger, I don't think it would be worthwhile and it probably costs a lot more money. And also the printing on this set is pretty damn good. So it's got printing on the front, this guy and the back, and he's got a very cool kind of Russian type hat. I don't know what they're called, uh, woolly hat thing. And you've got this guy, he's got printing on the back and front. He looks fantastic. I really like the printing on his front. I think it's really, really well done. And he's got rosy cheeks, it's a little bit cold. Uh, the minifigs come with loads of accessories, so you get a normal kind of standard helmet here. You also get a potato masher grenade, as they're called. Look at that, very small little potato masher. You also get the binoculars, the headphones, and a PPSH. And I've shot one of those in Vegas. Not on the strip, in a shooting range. That'd be weird. And you get the printed plaque, so it tells you what number you are there and what set, just in case you forget overnight. There you go. bit smudged, greasy fingerprints all over that. And you get this sign. So the sign tells you where you can go. You can go to Berlin and you can go to Leningrad. As this is the winter Russian tank, that makes sense having that sign in there. Fantastic. And you, as always, you get the engine which is removable from the tank and it can go on its own little mount with a sign. So it's a Maybach HL 210, the workhorse of the Tiger tank. Transmission sucks though. But yeah, I like that. It's coming a few of the other ones. It's a nice little detail. Now onto the tank itself. I said the printing is fantastic. Look at those road wheel prints. You've got printing all over it. So you've got a little kind of German symbol here. The one, two, three on the front of the turret mantlet there. Loads of lovely printing details on this. And the camouflage, I personally think, looks really cool. <clears throat> I really like it. And I also think it's really nice to have like a tank that's winter camoed now you can take out the turret this is the new design and you've got the cage there now i'm not going to lie to you this cage was an absolute bitch to build i had to use a little bit of glue on some parts which does frustrate me of kobe sometimes because you know you want to be able to take this apart at some point probably maybe and i'm having to use a bit of glue sometimes maybe i'm just doing stuff wrong who knows opening hatch there and the turret goes up and down now i chose to build option b i think it was in the um instructions i'll show a little picture of that there's option b and a you can it has a different turret that's all now it has some nice detail inside there you can see the shells the batteries all that kind of stuff you can open up these hatches here or you can pull them off completely whatever you want to do to get access in there you can do it now you have the little engine bay obviously i don't have the engine in there so let's watch me with some swish editing see about putting the engine in now here we go you have to take off these little pipes here either side so it doesn't take too long you just take these ones off this is probably one of the easier ones to get into if i'm honest and then you lift up the hatch which can be a bit tricky with sausage fingers and you knock off the snorkel pop that back on i do like the snorkel that's a cool addition so you can drive through rivers and get stuck in them then you have the the, the rear the rear here so you've got the fuel tanks either side now this bit i take out you don't have to do this i take out this little plate fix it on the bottom first I just find this easier and then you have to get the angle right that's what she said and you pop her in and then you've got the engine in there personally I think I might leave mine out on this one and have it on the plaque 
I've got so many of these Maybach engines though. Not sure yet. I probably will insert it back in. So there you go. That's the way you get the engine in and out of this set. But yeah, look at the printing on those wheels. Absolutely bloody fantastic. How they printed onto that, those moulded things, I do not know. Tracks move well enough. Then we've got the rear here. This looks very good. Capture all the details again. Liking it. The shapes and stuff look really, really good. So, top job on this one, Kobe. I think uh, the new design is certainly worthwhile. I think it looks much more sleeker than the old design. If you've got any of the old Tigers, you can see that for yourself. But I much prefer this new layout. And there's a the snorkel there. You can, you can choose whether you want that or not. So you don't have to have the snorkel in there. Obviously the turret goes back in. It doesn't turn fully round, which is a little bit irritating. The movement on it is not that great. So I don't know what it's getting stuck on. I can't work it out. But for me, I'm going to display it pointing forwards anyway. So it's not really that much of an issue for me, to be fair. It doesn't look great. It's blooming fantastic. So I thought I'd show up against the older Kobe here, which I think is set 2538 if my memory serves me right. It's just a kind of a plain grey. Now from the exterior, it looks pretty similar. I do much prefer the newer look, I'm not going to lie. I think the, the addition of the turret cage and taking out the turret is fantastic. But all in all, they look pretty much similar. Um, but yeah, I, I do think the newer has more potential. I like the way they've kind of shrunk down the huge UCS Tiger, if you've ever built that, into a smaller 1 to 28 scale. So yeah, I'm excited to build the other versions that are coming this year. But what do you think of the set? Will you get the new Tigers? Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye bye.